Mm -hmm. Hello, so here's a new UFO video, the Department of Homeland Security rubber duck video. So cool because it's got this little white shape down here that looks uh, kind of like a rubber duck. You know, it's got the body, the little head, a little beak. Doesn't always look like that. It's uh, you know, like most UFO videos, it's you know too poor of a quality to, to actually tell what's going on. Uh, it's very blurry, it's very overcompressed, and you can't really see very much. So, what do we got here? What do we got? This is um, infrared video. It is taken on a plane. Uh, we know that because there's actually a fuller version of that video uh, where you can actually see the plane itself. There it is. You can see the plane from the camera. You know it's uh, infrared, so it's showing heat, and this black here is hot. We know it says BH down here, so black hot. So anything that is white is colder than things that are less white. So this uh, engine exhaust here is showing up as uh, black because it's hot. Uh, it's a one hour video. The object appears about, I don't know, like 20 minutes in or so, and then it just basically follows it. There's uh, some interesting stuff we can see in the video, and I'll kind of get to that in a moment. But the first thing I want to note is that this number here, speed, some people have said that this speed is the speed of the object. It is not the speed of the object. This is the speed at which the camera is going over the ground. The camera's looking down. So here at this point, for example, the camera is fixed on the ground and the speed is zero and when the uh, they start moving the camera around you'll see it actually has a speed of something like you know 100 and something miles per hour which is basically uh the same as the speed of the plane which is you know over here uh, less anything to do with it turning left or right but it's not the speed of the object we'll we'll get a little bit more into that later so what can we tell from this video? Well, there's a number of useful things, actually. Uh, first of all, we have coordinates, which is always good when you're doing a UFO video because you can make sure that what you're looking at is what you think you're looking at and it's in the right place. Uh, here we've got this one, you know, it's 31 degrees, 111 degrees west. This is, over here, the coordinates of the plane, the plane itself. Uh, and... The other numbers underneath this are the speed of the plane in knots and the heading of the plane, which is this uh, degrees in the true heading, which is the true heading on the uh, on the map, not the magnetic heading. And then the altitude of the plane, which stays at around 1400, uh, 14,800 feet, so around around 15,000 feet. They were probably aiming for 15,000 feet and that's just what they're at. OK, so. Uh, so that's, that tells us what the plane is doing through this video. Now, uh, the, in the long version of the video, unfortunately, they removed this data up here. They removed the GPS data, so you can't get a full track. But we've got one minute of the video where they have the actual GPS data, so we can use this. Now, over here, we have what looks like the same type of thing. We've got another set of GPS coordinates, and we've got a speed, a heading, an elevation, and uh, a slant range. This is uh, the position of the middle of the camera. So it's where the middle of this crosshairs intersects the ground. And we can see this from uh, like a number of reasons, just simply that what we have here isn't an altitude. You know, over here we have altitude, and over here we have elevation. This is an elevation of the ground. So this is the height of the ground. And we saw earlier that when the crosshairs are not moving, this speed is zero. So it's the speed at which the crosshairs are tracking over the ground. It's not the speed of the object. It would only be the speed of the object if the object was on the ground and these crosshairs were tracking it. And this would be something typically like a, a vehicle on a road. You would be able to get the, the speed of that vehicle uh, from, from this here. Uh, then we have the slant range, which is 3.6 nautical miles, which is just the distance from the camera to the ground. Again, not to the object, it is to the ground. So given uh, these two things, given these two sets of data, these sets of coordinates, we can actually extract them. We actually went through this video uh, from the, the start to the end of this, with this one, the one minute segment here that we have, uh, let's see, yeah, one minute segment here. And I extracted at uh, 10 second intervals the GPS coordinates and I got them into, let's see, a spreadsheet format. Very, very simple uh, typo thing. And 
uh, is this what it ended up being? Just like, you know, six data points, seven data points. And we've got the degrees uh, coordinates for the the plane, and we've got that for the uh, the ground track. And so we can write a little bit of magic code and convert those into a Google Earth track and stick that into Google Earth. And this is what it looks like. This is the green one here is the track of the plane. You can see it's high up and it's looking down. This red track here is the ground track. Now you can see straight away uh, kind of what's going on here. The plane is kind of flying roughly in a segment of a circle here. This is, remember, this is only one minute. This is the only minute that we actually have GPS data for. If we had more, we would see more. But it's looking down uh, at the ground. But in the middle, uh, we see the lines kind of intersect. So what I think is actually going on here is that we're seeing an object that's moving relatively slowly at around this, this altitude here, this like 2,524 meters, which is 8,200 feet uh, above uh, sea level. And the ground beneath it there is about 4,000. So it's about 4,000 something feet above the ground there. It's not actually down by the ground. It's around here somewhere moving along at a relatively slow speed, possibly just at wind speed or possibly just at a, uh, a fairly slow-ish speed. Now, the speed calculated for this track is was around like 100 and something miles per hour. So whatever the actual speed is, unless it's really close to the plane, it's actually going to be less than that speed. And I suspect it's somewhere in this region. It's going to be somewhere like 10, 20 miles per hour, uh, which you know, at, leads into a few... Um, possibilities like what could it actually be now if we look at what's actually going on in the longer video if we take this this long video here and we look at the compass heading right here now at the start it kind of, kind of goes back and forth because we haven't got to the object yet but when we actually find this object yeah, here it is we start flying essentially in circles the plane is flying in circles round and round uh, this object looking down at this object and so that means that either the plane and the object are both kind of weirdly going around in these strange circles opposite each other for no apparent reason or we've just got like some object and we've got the plane circling that object and the object itself is moving in a straight line and it, that's what actually it looks like it looks like the object's moving in a straight line and the plane is flying around that object and if that is in fact the case then from this uh layout here we can tell that it's probably not moving very very fast at all it's probably just like drifting along relatively slow like few tens of miles per hour tops uh but we you know we don't actually know exactly how fast it is because we don't know exactly where it is because uh, we simply don't have enough information but if you look at if you go back and look at this we can see that the compass heading here just spins round and round, uh, which means that we, uh, we orbit it, I think, about 11 times throughout the course of the video. So if we were to plot the entire thing uh, on this map, instead of just having a small segment of it, we would probably see uh, just a kind of a spiral shape as it went along, and this object itself just moves a little bit. It probably would hardly move at all, really, because it's not moving that fast. So um, what actually is this? Thing is, we don't really know. We don't really know what this actually is. It's 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 almost impossible to tell. We can tell uh, that it's not making any sudden moves. It's not really going very fast, and it's probably going in a straight line. And we can it's probably about four thousand feet above the ground. Now, being four thousand feet above the ground uh, means that the air it is in would be you know, a few degrees colder than the uh, the air at ground level. Uh, quite a few degrees colder. So if it was just something like uh, a balloon, it would show up as being colder uh, than the ground. It does seem like, if you look at some of these these shots, it looks like it's very bright white. It looks like it's uh, kind of an unusually bright uh, coldness, but which makes you think it's icy cold, but really it isn't. Now you look at this shot here, you see this segment of, of the path, which is probably just a bit of sand or something like that, is exactly the same color as the supposed rubber duck, rubber duck UFO, as are many other like white splodges throughout uh, the area. So 
what it means is it's as cold as that, you know, possibly colder, possibly less cold. It doesn't really mean that it's like a piece of ice floating along. So there's a number of possibilities as to what it could be. Uh, the, my first thought that it was a bunch of balloons, like several balloons together uh, with perhaps one a bit higher than the other that gives this appearance of uh, it being, you know, like the, the head of the duck. Uh, it sometimes appears a bit a bit separate uh, from from the other things. Um, I I think that's probably the top of my list, just simply because it fits you know, something just drifting along and something that uh, roughly kind of rotates and changes shape as you kind of expect from a fairly static bunch of balloons at high altitude they don't bobble around much when they're 4,000 feet above the ground uh, another possibility is that it's a drone and so people have suggested this and it would be kind of an odd shaped drone but some people have said that you know this little bit here is a gps antenna you know kind of hard to see how that would actually work in this particular instance, you kind of see here, it almost looks like a little wing shaped thing sometimes with this thing popping up. But I, I tend to go more with the the balloon theory, but you know, I'm not opposed to the drone theory if we have something could be could be shown a bit more. Problem is, of course, you know, it's um, low information. It's very blurry. And you know, when you zoom in on, on this thing, you, you, you can't really make anything out. You can't tell what shape it is. You know, you're seeing a lot of uh, compression artifacts. You're seeing a lot of uh, blur, and you just you know th these lines here they aren't real. They're just part of the compression. You know these kind of curves here they're not real either. This is, you know, this whole thing is all smudged. And even even in the segments of the video where it's is relatively clear, uh, you know the, the shape you're still essentially getting compression artifacts. You can see all these lines everywhere. It's it's overly compressed. I don't know if there's a better version of the video, but if there is, it might be useful in trying to figure out what it is. But people have suggested you could do some advanced video analysis on this, you know, doing your little convolution filters and whatnot, but you're not going to get anything. Yeah, this is all this is all compression artifacts, and it's just essentially it's a black and white image, and you know this this color here is the pretty much the same as this color over here, and there's bits of the ground that are exactly the same color, like this you know, it's bright white. Uh, it's not going to tell you anything. It's it's very difficult to get anything out of this thing. It's an irregular shaped cold object that's moving slowly uh, through the sky at perhaps about 4,000 feet. Um, you know, real quick though, another thing we can tell from this is, is because we actually have the time and date on it, we can go back in, in Flight Radar 24 and we can find the actual plane. Here I, I went back and found the actual plane. It's called Irons 12 and then you can uh, you can see that this is actually a you know Department of Homeland Security Border Patrol plane and they were just flying around. The actual object was spotted somewhere around here and there's a bunch of orbits that were done around this area. Unfortunately, the ADSB data isn't very good. Uh, so uh, you, we get these kind of crappy tracks. We don't get a nice smooth track. If we had the full GPS data of the actual video, you could do a bit more detailed analysis, but I really don't think there's very much gonna come from this. It's probably something that they thought was some kind of border incursion like uh, drug smuggling, uh, possibly on a drone, possibly on a balloon, or it could even be you know, some loose balloons. I mean, there's towns nearby, uh, like, like down here, there's, there's actual towns on the Mexican side and on the US side, and people sometimes let bunches of balloons go, and it could possibly be just that. Uh, we really don't know what it is, and we probably will never know uh, unless the Department of Homeland Security figured it out. And it looks like they just kind of eventually gave up and flew away because, well, maybe they maybe they did figure it out. Maybe they figured out, oh, hey, it's just a bunch of balloons. Let's just leave it. Uh, as if it was something actually like um, a drug incursion, then the drug smuggling, they probably would have followed it. Maybe they ran out of fuel. But anyway, that's all I have for it, really. Oh, uh, one quick thing is that Lou Elizondo was asked about this by uh, by the Sun, apparently, and he said it might just be a bunch of balloons. So, hmm, who knows? Let's actually talk very briefly, though, about um, thermal radiation and what it looks like. Now, we have something that shows up as cold. Now, there's actually a couple of reasons why something might show up as cold. It could actually be cold, 
which is simply because it's 4,000 feet above the ground. Now, if it was a drone, then the problem is that drones have engines and the engines get warm. And so you see some sources of heat. Now, it might be that just you know, the drone itself only shows the sources of heat in fairly small spots around the engine and uh, they kind of get cooled by the uh, downdraft of the air and the body of the drone may actually stay relatively cold and because it's at high altitude it's colder than the ground so I wouldn't rule it out entirely but I think you know I'd, I'd kind of like to see an example of a drone shot from above you know some people show you like pictures of a drone against the sky and that's entirely pointless because the sky shows up as like minus 100 degrees or something like that so if you show anything against the sky even ice it's going to show up as as hot so any example that shows something against the sky completely irrelevant you need to show it looking from above looking down at the ground with the object between you and the ground and preferably the object uh, several thousand feet above the ground to get a, a, a true look at what's actually going on here now if it's balloons there's you know a couple of types of things uh types of common balloons the the regular kind of you know latex balloons or um, the plastic balloons rubber balloons which uh, are often transparent to infrared so you you wouldn't really see this this stark cold thing uh, depending on you know the actual thickness of the balloons and the size of the balloons mylar balloons uh you see more of a reflection of what's going on. So you see a reflection of the environment. Now, because we're looking down, what we're gonna see is a reflection of the sky. So you're not seeing something against the sky, you're seeing the sky against the ground. So you see something that's very cold. However, you would expect to see a little bit of uh, hot, or well, not hot, but like hotter around the edges where you see some reflection of the ground and it's kind of hard to see if we're actually seeing that it kind of like looks probably a little darker around the edges but you know i think really if you're looking down at something it's going to be reflecting the sky so it's possibly a bunch of mylar balloons that are kind of reflecting the sky and uh, that's very coldness is, is is what we're seeing here and uh is it interesting I mean, like it's it's interesting because someone released it and says this is an official uh, UAP video from the, the Department of Homeland Security, and yeah, I mean it's something. It's it's something just like that's drifting along in a straight line, doing nothing interesting. It's not like defying gravity in an interesting way. It's it's not like making sudden turns. It's not stopping and hovering. It's not disappearing. It's not going underwater. It's not changing altitude. It's a pretty boring. UFO but yeah it's a UFO we don't know what it is it could be balloons it could be a drone it could be a levitating rubber duck or it could be an, an alien spaceship or some kind of high-tech uh, anti-gravity drone from the, the US military but we got to go with what's what's likely you know the, the US military themselves in the UOP report they say um, a lot of these things are just airborne clutter, things like balloons and uh, drones and birds. I don't think it's a bird, uh, but yeah, it's a UFO. It's just not a very interesting UFO.